Hello YouTube. Today I have something pretty exciting. I'm super excited about this little guy here that I just got in the mail from banggood.com. Uh, what this is is a 5.8 gigahertz uh, FPV receiver, but the thing that makes this particularly exciting and really really cool is that it connects to your phone through a USB. USB. Uh, it's called the USB uh, 5.8G OTG receiver. And the amazing part of this is that it has an integrated uh, frequency analyzer, or scanner I should say. And it again connects to your phone, making it so that with this little thing, you can actually uh, have essentially full um, FPV through your phone which is really awesome. I know uh, EasyCap and uh, others have done this before and uh, there's a really, really great video by Andy RC uh, that a lot of you have probably already seen that uh, teaches you how to do the EasyCap uh, mod with uh, a regular uh, receiver for, for FPV. But what makes this one particularly cool is that it's all integrated and it's tiny and it's relatively cheap for, for this hobby, I should say. So <clears throat> this one, I think I picked it up for 28 bucks. And just with this, you have uh, capacity to uh, not have to carry around your goggles. <laughs> and you can get this entire setup, and I'll show you what I have over here and, I, and another option as well, um, to do full FPV and get started with uh, indoor FPV at least uh, for very, very cheap. Uh, I think in total you can spend about 60 bucks and really get everything you need uh, to get started. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so to get started, uh, this is uh, the the receiver comes in this little tiny box uh, over here with no instructions. <laughs> so uh, you have to look up online how to do it. I will actually add a link to uh, the apps that seem to work for it really well on my side. I know that uh, Banggood recommends one from uh, Baidu or something, but it the site's not translated. I couldn't get it to load on my phone, so I just forgot about it <laughs> and went ahead and downloaded one that's actually for the easy cap but works perfectly for it so i'll put that link in the description so you can download it no problems uh, my thoughts on this is that it's a pretty freaking amazing piece of technology for 28 bucks and like i said you can um get into this hobby really really cheap before uh, the need to having to, to upgrade to you know even 50 dollars goggles like the eshines and others that are out there that aren't that great of a quality in the first place and you know if your phone can do the same thing for almost nothing um, you might not even have to do it so uh, the way it works is that uh, everything's included like I said you just plug it in uh, put in your uh, little uh, rubber ducky dipole antenna you plug it into your phone you click on this app right here uh, it's called FPV viewer uh, and there is also uh, go FPV both of those work pretty well but uh, go FPV doesn't work with some of the newer Samsung's like what I'm recording this on, which is a Samsung 7-inch. This is my old, <laughs> old phone. Uh, that's my wife and Dartmouth. I love Dartmouth <laughs> and my wife. Um, and uh, the way that it works is that uh, you connect to it, and you'll see it gives you the option. tells you uh, if it's connected or disconnected. Right now, it shows disconnected. So if I plug it in again, uh, come on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I realized. Uh, I think it. I think this end has to be in first. So this end into that device, and then the smaller end, sleeker end into your phone. Sorry, this is my old Note 3, so it's pretty beat up. But you get that connected. Uh, it's gonna ask you to pick one if you have multiple, uh, and it's gonna show you this screen until you have something plugged in. But here's the cool part. So you plug it, you plug in your any you know camera, and I already had it synced up to this channel. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm uh, oh, sorry, this battery <laughs> it's already dead. All right, new battery. Sorry. Once I get good at editing, I'll make sure to make these shorter by editing out these uh, little mistakes and stuff. But for now, uh, connect it. I had already done a search on it, so it's gonna come right up but as you can see it's pretty pretty damn good <coughs> sorry 
So as you can see, uh, it shows up right away, but if it doesn't show up on the channel right away, there's a little button right there, it's hidden underneath the uh, heat shrink, but there's a button right there, you press it, you hold it, and it's gonna do, if you hold it down, it's gonna do a, a scan, and it'll scan through all of the uh, FPV frequencies that you normally use uh, in the 5.8 range. And it goes through 150 frequencies, so that's pretty cool. It's got almost every single frequency in there by very, very small increments. So it's going to automatically pick the very best one uh, that your uh, transmitter is transmitting on. So that's amazing. And it that doesn't stay. That'll go away if you click on it. <clears throat> You've got the option of doing it like this uh, so that if you want, you can use any VR goggles like little Google Cardboard stuff. Uh, if you have Google Cardboard, for example, you can get um, you can get Google Cardboard goggles for like two bucks on Amazon or something. Um, but these I bought uh, again on BingGood. I'll put the link in the description. They're Blitzwolf goggles. They're super super comfortable. Sorry, they're not in shot, but they're super comfortable. We have this really thick padding. This strap over here. They're actually more comfortable than my Fat, fat Sharks and my uh, Sky Zones. So. I really recommend these. They're like 17 bucks or 18 bucks, um, and you can adjust the the distance for each of these individually, and then um, make them closer and further apart so that they suit your your eyesight perfectly. And you can wear them glasses, so that's a benefit for me because <clears throat> I wear uh, glasses more than I wear my contacts. So that's super cool. Uh, like I said, uh, this setup 20 bucks. Then you get. A little guy like this, a little tiny whoop uh, clone. This one is the Ishin uh, E010C, which I've already reviewed. Uh, this one I got as a sample from Banggood uh, for a review for free. I love it. It's an amazing little camera. <laughs> I really, really uh, can't speak enough to it. But this little guy uh, comes with his own little controller. Um, I know a lot of people don't like this with anyone's, but uh, for 36 or $38, you get $38, $28 over here. You can choose to do uh, something like this for like 17, 18 bucks, or you can do like the really cheap ones for like seven bucks or even less than that. And you have an entire FPV setup and ready to go for, you know, 70, 60, 70 dollars, depending on which route you get. Uh, this one, if you get it, like I guess it'll pre made and everything. <clears throat> or run you $36. I love this one, it's a great starter. The great thing about this board is that it also will bind uh, to your Tyrannus or others with the multi-protocol module that they sell for like another $8 again. So if you decide to upgrade to like a Tyrannus or something uh, like a hobby type radio, um, this one will, will still work. So it's, it's a great little deal, but even like this, just with this, uh, you got a perfect little start to uh, your FPV setup. Now, um, you can go cheaper, so sometimes I sell these on sales, on sale, but um, <clears throat> you can get them on sale for, you know, like 14, 15 bucks, and then get a little camera. It doesn't have to be this one. You can get a little camera for another 17 bucks, uh, 20 bucks, depending on what you like. I actually really love this EF02 uh, Ishin camera, so I recommend it as a package because it kind of costs you what it costs to make, and it comes pre-soldered, so you don't have to worry about soldering if you don't like that. Or you can go the other, other route, which is uh, this one, and this guy. This guy flies amazing. This is a, a Furby F36. Uh, I love it. <laughs> it's it's kind of like this guy, but what I did is I added a, a Bold Clash uh, O02 camera, and I, I, it makes it much more low, pri low profile. You put the camera up there, the transmitter's down there, uh, the antenna's up here. So if you look at them together, <laughs> this one's a little bit more sleek. It's actually lighter, even though it has the canopy and everything, than this is uh, by itself. So uh, either route works. This one, Right now it's on sale on GearBest for 12 bucks. Um, comes with its own controller. I added these little knobs because uh, it's uh, easier for me to grab <laughs> and I like it. Uh, the range is great if you do this little model here. Um, but in any case, you can get that camera for 19 bucks. This for, uh, like I said, 12 bucks, usually $13. Uh, so in total, again, you're, if you just get this, you already have, I'm assuming you already have a smartphone. Uh, most people do. Uh, you get this little here, guy over here. Uh, you get your receiver, you get your quad with controller, you get your uh, uh, your guy like over here, or you get your goggles, and you're set to go for almost nothing. So there's actually like no excuse now to get into the hobby. So I really, really uh, recommend this. 
I'm almost out of time, so I'm gonna do another little piece where I'm flying so I can show you. All right, so um, one of the things that people are gonna be wondering about it, the, la the latency, uh, I can show you right here. Uh, like you can see is very minimal. Uh, I've seen online um, other videos that are that say it's about 10 uh, milliseconds, which is perfectly viable. I'm gonna do a little uh, recording of it flying. So you can see that the latency is really, really not bad. Actually, you know, even if I'm moving it around here, you can see it's it's minimal. It's about 10 milliseconds uh, and it doesn't add up even when it's recording, so that's pretty cool. It allows you to record directly to the phone. Uh, if I could do a timer, that might work, but actually I don't know how to do the timer with this still on there, so. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to do it. Uh, I'll do another test, I'll confirm it uh, without having to have it recorded, and I'll make sure that you know exactly what the delay is between these two. But I believe it's about 10 milliseconds from what I read online and what I've seen other people um, reporting about this little unit with your phone. So I'm gonna unplug this because I think it's probably killing the battery already. Uh, probably have it a little bit longer than it should. Um, again, it's just an awesome little setup. I'll do a video where I'm flying this uh, and and uh, through these goggles with this setup and uh, just show you what it's like to do, it, to do that. But really recommend it. Again, 20 bucks for this little thing. Totally worth it. Uh, get a little guy like this and Really, if anybody's ever wondered if you can get into FPV, this is the way to go. You fly this indoors, you're not gonna break anything, you're not gonna break the bank. Just just a great way, and, and as you know, I love getting people started in this hobby. So uh, any questions, any thoughts, leave me in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, all the links are my affiliate links, so if you see that there and you buy stuff through my link, it's gonna help me out. Uh, so I recommend that as well. <laughs> I appreciate your support and uh, thank you.